Ô, Vanderlei, é, ela, em relação a essa pergunta aqui ó, do Martial, dá um beijo aqui, por favor. Além do notório interesse imobiliário nos clubes que a 777 detém, seria possível prever que, num futuro, os donos possam vender seus clubes a outros donos ou falir a esse precedente? Ok, a uh, pergunta é com uh, o um, Machado. Is, as we know, a 777 partner invests on um, real estate, right? They buy and sell it. Uh, the question we have is if in the future they can sell Vasco da Gama, or other than that, they can say the company is broken and we cannot take care of Vasco anymore. Well, they can certainly sell Vasco. And in fact, one of the few uh, theories about why they have spent money in putting this group together is that the idea, the end game, in a way, is to create a group of companies that they can give, well, they can sell at a vast profit to one investor looking for multi club ownership. You know, that's one possible theory. So yes, they could they could sell they could sell Vasco. Uh, the problem I think is letting it fail. I think the problem is that it's a domino effect. If one of their club fails, it's very hard to see how the others are not going to fail either because their creditors are probably going to think, oh, what's going on there? You can't have this happen. And um, so it's possible that there is a domino effect. Maybe they're geniuses and they've worked out a way to make money out of losses. It's possible. Yeah, that's the question. Is there a risk of global collapse of 777 partners? They say no. They say they're fine. They say they're raising money. They say that they've got uh, equity, that they're investing in the clubs. It's a long-term thing. They've got good ideas in mind. But the problem is that when you look at it from the outside, which is what we're doing, but other people are doing, like football accountants, specialists in, in business, they're saying it doesn't make sense. Yes, there is a risk of a global collapse of 777 partners. And I think that, you know, you could say it's valid of any football club. It's a risky enterprise. But in this particular case, given the way that it has been built and the fact all these clubs are losing money, all these clubs are in debt, and also none of these clubs is in a position where you can see them breaking even or making money at a profit in the next two to three to five years. And the debts are going to go up, you, you know, the they're taking more loans and the losses are going to stack up. And also, for example, Standard de Liège, which we concentrated on at the last piece, Our club, who are actually being in, not investigated, they're being monitored very, very closely by the licensing commission because their accounts are not quite in order. So if one domino falls, yeah, I can see that uh, the, the graphic yeah, in the, at, at the bottom on the right. If one domino falls, you can think, yes, it's a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying, yes, you, you can fear for that. O que ele está dizendo é que é, ele montou a 777 como um dominó. É. E se caso um dominó cair, pode fazer avalanche e os outros caírem. O que ele está dizendo, a, a maneira que eles criaram essa companhia foi para é, comprar, fazer caixa e vender, que é, é o que eles fazem. Né? Eles estão dizendo que eles fazem dinheiro aqui, tem um fundo de caixa garantido, tem dois bilhões garantidos, mas todos os clubes até agora que eles têm estão perdendo dinheiro. Se caso eles entrarem num, num globo, que ele falou globo, né? o globo é um ruim, se eles entrarem num colapso, num colapso financeiro, sim, eles podem vender tudo que tem para tentar arrecadar e pagar o que o que deve e arrecadar dinheiro. Então, com certeza, eles podem sim vender o Vasco da Grama para outros investidores, se caso o efeito dominó pegar eles no colapso financeiro.